The images in this video are all real. Captured by NASA's Mars rovers, directly from the surface of the planet. This is the first time Martian footage has been rendered in stunning 4K resolution so sit back, relax, and enjoy this journey across the surface of another world. The team at NASA has given Mars informal place names, which you will see on the screen. In the bottom left corner, the footage was mainly captured by the three most successful rovers Spirit, Opportunity and Curiosity. The cameras on board the rovers were the height of technology when the respective missions were launched. A question often asked, why don't we actually have live video from Mars? Although the cameras are high quality, the rate at which the rovers can send data back to Earth is the biggest challenge. Curiosity can only send data directly back to Earth at 32 kilobits per second. Instead, when the rover can connect to the Mars, Renaissance Orbiter, we get more favorable speeds of 2 megabytes per second. However, this link is only available for about 8 minutes, each Sol or Martian day, as you would expect. Sending HD video at these speeds would take a long time, as nothing really moves on Mars. It makes more sense to take and send back the images. In order to create a video like this, several images must first be stitched together to create a mosaic or panorama. Depending on how many images are connected, you may sometimes see black areas where no image was taken. We have done our best to preserve the 4K quality by not zooming in, while also trying not to include those areas. But you may see them from time to time by taking these mosaics and panning across them. At 60 frames per second, we have created the most lifelike experience of being on Mars. This image is the largest mosaic ever put together and was made from over 1,000 images taken by Curiosity between November 24th and December 1st, 2019. It contains 1.8 billion pixels. As we zoom in the quality does not diminish. At this zoom level, what you are seeing is exactly 4K quality. The rover was exploring the area named Glen Torden which was theorized to contain large amounts of clay. Clay found on Mars signals the presence of water in the past. At this point in 2020, the NASA rovers have found irrefutable evidence that Mars was once a watery planet.
You may be wondering why. The sky color varies from inch to inch. The true color of Mars is reddish and hazy. In some images, however, the sky will appear blue and bright like on Earth. This is due to the recoloring of images done by NASA. In order to aid geologists identifying rock formations, this technique also produces a much clearer picture, so we can see Mars in much greater detail. Curiosity is the only rover still active on Mars. The previous two rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, unfortunately succumbed to the Martian environment. They were launched around the same time, landing on opposite sides of the planet. Twin rovers they are considered one of NASA's most successful missions. Spirit became trapped in a sand dune and lost the ability to charge its solar panels. After six years of service, Opportunity outlived Spirit, roaming Mars for 14 years, and making astounding discoveries. Opportunity was lost in 2019, after experiencing a massive dust storm, and essentially freezing to death. NASA's newest rover Perseverance is scheduled to land in 2021. It will deploy a small helicopter called Ingenuity. Ingenuity will scout the path ahead, warning the team at NASA about any sand traps awaiting the rover flying on Mars is no easy feat. With an atmosphere much thinner than Earth's, its blades will reach up to 2,400 revolutions per minute. That's 40 spins every second. Most helicopters on Earth operate at just 500 revolutions per minute, which is just over 8 spins per second. This video was an exhibit of the high-quality images available of the Martian surface. The team at NASA has given Mars informal place names, which you will see on the screen in the bottom left corner. For different rover missions have contributed to this incredible footage spirit, opportunity, curiosity, and perseverance. The latter to still roam the surface today. Yet spirit and opportunity are gone, lost to the sands of time.
where we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. The Curiosity Rover continues to rise, the hillside of Mount Sharp, the mountain it has been climbing for over 10 years. This was once a vast lake. The most recent rover Perseverance has brought along a friend. It's a helicopter called Ingenuity. These two explorers are also situated in an ancient lake on the other side of the planet. No man can fully grasp how far and how fast he has come. The rovers have proved beyond all reasonable doubt that Mars once had active water systems. The only remaining question is if Mars had life. This is a breathtaking pace, and such a pace cannot help but create new ills as it dispels old. New ignorance, new problems, new dangers. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs and hardships, as well as high reward. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer, to rest, to wait. But this city of Houston, this state of Texas, this country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested and wished to look behind them. The Ingenuity helicopter has been a fantastic scout for the rover, providing incredible images. Here it flew over the wreckage left behind, the mission's landing. Let both sides seek to invoke the wonders of science instead of its terrors. Together, let us explore the stars. The Opportunity rover covered over 28 miles or 45 km. In under 15 years it's deemed by many as NASA's most successful mission ever. It was only stopped by a global Martian dust storm 
which left it without power in exposed internal components to freezing temperatures. The last data NASA received from the rover roughly translates to, my battery is low and it's getting dark. Since the beginning of time, all moments have led to this moment. The great scientists and philosophers of the past could only dream of this moment. Our lifetimes are just a blip on the cosmic scale. Yet here we are gazing out onto the surface of another world. Appreciate this moment here and now. But I do say that space can be explored and mastered without feeding the fires of war, without repeating the mistakes that man has made in extending his writ around this globe of ours. There is no strife, no prejudice, no national conflict in outer space as yet. Its hazards are hostile to us all. Its conquest deserves the best of all mankind and its opportunity for peaceful cooperation may never come again. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. If you like our video, please share it and subscribe to our channel English Guidelines. Thank for watching.